Hey, y'all, and stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy yesterday's lesson as well as use the breathing techniques that I share with you. Before we start the lesson, I want you to know that I added the answers for yesterday's lesson into the Google Drive. Today, your social emotional goal will be to do a three-minute mindful listening. I added the instructions to the Google Drive because there is nothing wrong with taking time out to quiet our brain. The answers to a vacation for one are as follows. One is B, two is A, three is A, four is C, five is A, six is A, seven is C, eight is B, nine is B. And stay tuned after the video for Tip About Study Island. Now we're going to get right into today's lesson. So we're going to do the Little Monster of Madagascar. And already off the title, we can tell that this is a nonfiction article. So I'm going to put nonfiction. I'm going to put, and you know with nonfiction, you have a thinking job. So it's your topic and it's your teach me. My topic is the little monster of Madagascar, and my teach me, we're going to do it as we read the story. I have my highlighter ready. And then we're going to do, we're going to begin reading. Two huge yellow eyes appear out of the forest darkness. You see a hideous face with a small mouth and sharp rat-like teeth. There are two naked ears as large as small wings. The head is nearly bald with a few tufts of stiff hair sprout sprouting widely. The creature stares. It is silent except for an odd tap, tap, tapping sound. So what I notice already within this article is that this paragraph right here has taught me this teach me this is what the creature looks like. Now mine is gonna move, but that's okay. The sound is coming from the creature's paws, or rather its hands. Its fingers are black, as slender, as dry. As dry bones and very, very long. So we're gonna highlight again. And notice how they say, or rather its hands. At first they call them paws. The middle one is nearly three times as long as the other. As you watch, it taps slowly against the tree branch. You just met an animal called an eye eye. So you just met an animal called an eye eye. So now we know the name of the monster. So this name of is an eye. To some people, that is not exactly a good thing. The eye eye is a kind of lemur, a small animal about the size of a house cat. Lemurs are found on the island of Madagascar, off the eastern coast of Africa. Eye eyes live in the forest treetops there. The eye eye scary face makes some people afraid of it. They believe that seeing an eye eye brings bad luck. When one appears in a village, they say death will follow. So we know the I I is a kind of lemur. And then we know what a lemur, they describe a lemur for us. So it's an animal about the size of a house cat. We know 
They live on an island of Madagascar, and that's off the eastern coast of Africa. People are afraid of it, and they are afraid of it because they believe that seeing an eye eye brings bad luck. When one appears in the village, they say death will follow. It is especially bad luck if an eye eye points its long middle finger at you, then they believe you are marked for certain death. In truth, though, the eye eye is a quite harmless animal. Its strange appearance actually serves a purpose like all uh, serves a purpose. Like all lemurs, it is nocturnal. So it's a nocturnal animal. Those big yellow eyes help it see in the dark. So we could believe that it's nocturnal and that it means it's out at night because they say those big yellow eyes help it see in the dark. Lemurs are related to monkeys, apes, and people. Instead of paws or claws, they have hands that look something like people's hands. They have thumbs that face their other fingers. Mm -hmm. The eye eye's hand can grasp onto tree branches and help it climb trees. They help it build its nest high in the forks of trees. So lemurs are related to monkeys, apes, and people. I'm going to delete this because it doesn't look good. Lemurs are related to monkeys, apes, and people. They have thumbs like people and apes. And they build their nest high in the forks of trees. So now we know from this paragraph that the eye eye has hands like us and it lives in the tops of trees. In a nest. Move this up a little bit. The eye eye eats fruits and nuts, but its favorite meal is the grubs of insects that bore into the wood of trees. So it eats fruits and nuts, but it also eats grubs and insects. Its big back light ears are very sensitive. When the animal taps on a tree trunk, it can hear the insects inside scurrying around. It chews through the bark with its sharp teeth. Then it uses that long skinny middle finger as a tool to fish out dinner. So now we know I, I, and veggies, but also insects through hunting in trees. But the I I forest home has begun to disappear. More and more trees are being cut down. The land is being cleared to make way for sugarcane and coconut farms. Without trees, the eyes have nowhere to build their nests. They have nowhere to find food. They are forced to steal food from farms and villages because they are so feared the hungry eyes are often killed on sight. Killing an eye or any lemur is against the law, but the law is often ignored or not enforced. So, they're stealing food because they are so feared they are killed on sight. Even though it's against the law, the law is often ignored or not enforced. And they are killed. They're losing their land. To make way for sugarcane and coconut farms. As a result, the strange looking eyes in danger, in danger of disappearing forever. It seems after all that people are bad luck for the eye eyes and not the other way around. So this final paragraph taught us
Habitat for I Eyes. Habitat is being destroyed. Build coconut farms, coconut and sugar. And so then as we scroll down, we also have Cuddly Cold and Creepy. And what other unusual animals live in Madagascar? Read the chart below to find out. So this side is going to tell you what the animal is, what it eats, and then what it looks like. And then the last one, we have a advertisement from a newspaper. And it says, come to the city zoo, meet the little monster of Madagascar. Hurry in July 15th through July 30th at 111 2 Street, My Town, USA, 121, 121. And then you have your 11 questions. So now what I'm going to do is tell you that these things right here, like it say, standard 11, main idea and support details, and standard two, context clues. I'm gonna show you how to use this information in Study Island, if you get the question wrong. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna stop sharing this screen, we're gonna share a new screen, and it's the Study Island screen, and so, when your scholar first logs in to Study Island, this is what they see. If you click on Texas programs, it'll be fourth grade teach. You will select English language art and reading. And then they can take the diagnostics test. Which is here. But as you scroll, you will see purpose for reading, questions, mental, central ID and details. So let's look at central ID and details. All right, so central ID and details. And when you go back, we're going to, you will see main idea and supporting details. So they're able to get the ones that they get wrong and go back and practice. Thank you for joining me today. I will have the answers to this one in the next video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.